Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is Technology Transfer in API Manufacturing, Part 1, Basic Information. Technology transfer is a very important aspect and starting point for API commercial manufacturing. The document should be comprehensive in terms of chemistry, various controls at appropriate stages, acceptance criteria at various stages, cleaning methods, analytical methods, safety precautions, etc. This video part one limits to basic information on technology transfer. In coming up video training programs, some more important information will be shared. Let us understand what is technology. Technology is the application of scientific knowledge which translates into practical purposes for manufacturing of API. By definition, technology is the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes. We restrict this word only with reference to manufacturing of APIs. This may be used as a base for drug products too. However, additional information may have to be incorporated. Basic API technology involves in synthesis of API through several chemical transformations. We know that API is a synthetic product and involves several chemical transformations from basic materials into final API. In chemistry, each functional group has a unique property that helps to rearrange, add, subtract functional groups to get a tailor-made API molecule. A good organic chemist with adequate knowledge on behavior of several chemicals with several functional groups can achieve this technology effectively. Main focus on the technology should be on the following economically viable. Of course, the process technology or chemistry should be viable and can be scaled up to different proportions. It should also be economical to commercialize the technology effectively. Recovery and reuse of solvents materials also should be discussed here. Detailed information on recovery procedures and second crop recoveries should be provided. It should give the percentage of possible recoveries at appropriate stages of the process. Many try to avoid this aspect of recoveries and second crops, but this is important information in technology within optimum time cycles. It is also important to manufacture within an optimum time cycle for each stage. Time cycle for each stage should synchronize with the next stage so that there are no constraints on availability of the previous stage materials to move to the next stage. There could be accumulation of stages or it can go to the next stage in total of output of the previous stage. All these aspects should be considered in technology. Safety in handling materials and other storage precautions at each stage where appropriate should be provided. Let us understand the important aspects of development. After firming up the requirements of the process, including the strategy, benchtop experimentation should be carried out. In the development stage, benchtop scale experiments should be carried out to check whether or not the chemistry works as expected. All experiments may not give correct output with correct specifications. After a few trials, the process chemistry will be established. Documentation of data for unsuccessful trials may not be of much use. When the trials yield expected output and process is tentatively firmed up, data from the firmed up process should be captured in much detail. After firming up the tentative process, 
recording should start in a controlled way at this point of time more focus will be to capture the process details charging of materials whether it is charged as such in one lot or in increments with a specific timing heating and cooling times rate of heating source temperature mass temperature stirring pattern if possible the rpm of the stirrer etc should be captured this information will be very useful for mapping the required suitable equipment in the commercial process while carrying out any distillation it is important to provide information on the contact area of the condenser and volume of the jacket used in the lab this would greatly help to select the correct sized heat exchanger for commercial scale all such intricate details are required at this stage the information may be captured into a, a document called development report dr entire information generated at this point should be recorded in a controlled fashion gmp controls are not much required here but it is necessary to record the materials used its specification number grade unit of measure in process test done yields at various stages of process and acceptance criteria etc have to be incorporated data may be recorded in a controlled register or in a controlled draft bpcr this register or bpcr would be part of the development report this would be the first step of technology transfer activity the development report should be preserved till the life cycle of the product this is a document for lifetime of the product if there are any modifications to process specifications etc an addendum of changes should be annexed with the original development report with the same document number but with a next version number this would help to track the changes throughout the life cycle of the product let us see what is a technology transfer technology transfer tt is an activity to communicate through a detailed document for commercialization based on the detailed development report the technology transfer document should be drafted at this point of time it is necessary to form a group of experts from production engineering utility services and any other key function of the manufacturing this is required to understand the requirements of volume for the large scale production suitable equipment suitable utilities like steam requirements for heating cooling systems etc process dynamics from laboratory gram scale to commercial kilo stage have to be looked into at this stage based on the requirements the equipment mapping and utilities mapping is done at this stage equipment mapping and support system mapping is done at this stage the final equipment selection will be done at this stage the draft bpcr with listing of equipments should be made now the development report may be subdivided into several sections for ease of handling the sections may include one the process steps two the cleaning recommendations three the dirty hold time and clean hold time four labeling and storage conditions five analytical methods and its validations and six safety requirements etc for each section data from the development report should be the base technology transfer should happen through a protocol with involvement of personnel from all key functions of the manufacturing generally the protocol is initiated by r&d with inputs from key functions of manufacturing the protocol should be discussed all across the three key functions to freeze the chemistry equipment scheme at this stage clear responsibilities of r&d and other key functions 
should be known the protocol should discuss the responsibilities clearly let us see the responsibilities matrix a qualification batch may be planned as a first step the purpose of a process qualification batch is to establish whether or not the process works as expected with the draft bpcr as provided in the technology transfer document at this stage the r and d team will lead the process with support of production personnel r and d monitors the process and checks whether or not the process is going on as expected when the batch proceeds without any issues it is considered that the process is qualified if there are any changes in the dynamics of the process or yields at various stages it should be discussed and the existing bpcr should be revised incorporating the changes if necessary another qualification batch may be taken up at this stage the bpcr will be finalized process validation should be planned after successful completion of qualification batch now it is necessary to schedule a process validation it is a requirement that there should be three sequential consecutive batches to be selected for process validation for process validation the main responsibility will be with the production team r and d may oversee the process if support is requested by the production team other responsibilities of r and d include supporting qc for method validations synthesis of impurities and reference standards if it is not compendial necessary training other responsibilities are to support qc with analytical methods and validations many organizations have analytical section also as a part of ar and d they carry out the method validations alternatively the r and d may support the qc for validations it can be validated through a third party approved laboratory also if available there are this kind of choices all these aspects should be part of technology transfer document so the technology transfer document should contain the development report specifications of inputs packaging materials draft bpcr and the analytical methods and validations it can be archived in separate files for easy retrieval necessary training requirements also should be part of the technology transfer let us see in summary the contents of the technology transfer document the technology transfer package should have general information of the product the general information includes name of the product its molecular weight chemical structure therapeutic category and any reference number like cas etc Pro process flow diagram detailed process discussion brief flow chart of the process indicating inputs outputs necessary testing at appropriate stages should be given here also detailed process as discussed above should be provided here key inputs specifications in process specifications key materials and starting materials should have at least one identity test specific to the key functional group impurity profile with levels should be provided in process tests and acceptance criteria should also be provided here equipment cleaning procedures at various stages detailed cleaning procedures including the detergents used analytical methods for evaluating the product residues should be discussed here dirty hold time clean hold times also should be provided here typical impurity profile analytical methods and standards discussion on impurity profile range of impurity levels methods standards should be given here details of supporting utilities details of supporting utilities 
should include heating cooling requirements that should be given here and discussed consumption coefficients stepwise material balance consumption coefficient means amount of each input required per kg of the final product those details must be added in the section material balance this is the input and output theoretical and practical yields at various places and all these details should be provided here waste disposal at appropriate stages the solid waste or liquid waste disposals should be discussed here msds for hazardous materials msds the material safety data sheets for handling of all hazardous or toxic materials for the safety of the operator should definitely be provided here any additional precautions which are deemed fit should also be provided packaging scheme this includes details of primary pack the secondary pack sometimes the secondary packaging may change based on the characteristics of the product packed within some cases black polyethylene bags or aluminum foil bags are used as secondary packaging all these details should be provided here storage conditions at various stages appropriate storage conditions of temperature and relative humidity should be provided here any requirement of inert gas blanket or any inserts like silica gel bags should be provided here stability study conditions stability study conditions as prescribed in q1 ar2 should be provided the study conditions depend totally on the product characteristics this information should be part of this any other information that is deemed necessary any other information on particle size or polymorphism etc should be provided here other important points to note are during inspections the technology transfer document may have to be submitted for review the technology transfer document you don't have to give a copy uh, to the inspector even if they request because it is a confidential information and not to be photocopied or shared any unauthorized usage of the technology transfer data is a crime since the technology transfer document contains very sensitive and confidential information necessary quality agreements and non disclosure agreements should be in place for transfer of technology transfer document the quality agreement should include responsibilities of the contract giver and contract acceptor on compliance to gmp requirements the non disclosure agreement is a commitment that the data shared is a confidential information and shall not be shared without written permission of the contract giver under any circumstances there should be these two mutually signed off documents for any type of technology transfer it can be two way or more depending upon the number of sites selected for manufacturing this same product depending upon the number of sites the agreements may be more than two i hope that the basic important information of technology transfer is understood well in coming up videos more intricate information on various types of technology transfer will be discussed thanks for watching for more videos please do subscribe like and share thank you